Namaste friends. Today I want to go through Tom Brady's chart. He's an American football quarterback, a very famous one. I want to illustrate some astrological principles using which I made some correct predictions in his chart. And also I will use the opportunity to illustrate a few other principles in his chart. So even if somebody does not care about Tom Brady or about American football, this video can be helpful in understanding some basic astrological principles which are known to be reliable, which have worked in the past. So let us jump right away. Uh, his date of birth is 1977 August 3. He was born at 11.48, 5 seconds. This is my rectified time. I think the official time is 11.48 or 11.50 a.m. And he was born in San Mateo, California. These are the longitude and latitude and the time zone is 7 hours west of GMT. He came into NFL, the National Football League, in 2000. He was drafted by New England Patriots as number 199th player. So 198 players were drafted before him that year. So he was not really a high-ranked player when he came in. And in his second year, in 2001, he suddenly got an opportunity. He was just supposed to be a backup, actually a second backup. But he got a he got an opportunity and he just grabbed the opportunity and he won the Super Bowl in his very first year. And since then, in the last 20 years, he went to Super Bowl 10 times and he won it 6 times. He is considered the greatest football player ever. So let us first of all see his the SAMHSA chart which shows career and see why he is a sports, sportsman in the first place. You will see that the 10th lord of career is Jupiter. He is in the second house of speech and resources. So you may think he will be a teacher or coach or something. Who knows, he may still get into coaching in future. And even now, he is known to coach younger players because he is 43 year old. He is playing in a league where most players are much younger than him. He is actually playing with uh, guys who were in diapers when he was winning the first Super Bowl. So anyway, so that is still a possibility, but that's obviously not his career. So let us see the second house, sixth house and tenth house. In, 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 instead of just seeing the tenth house for career, you can always see the second, sixth and tenth, which are the Arthur corners. Second house shows the resources you have for the work that you do. Sixth house shows the obstacles that you have to overcome for the work that you do and the 10th house shows your accomplishment. So these three are important houses for seeing the career of a person. So don't always go by the 10th house. So if you see the second house, second lord is moon. He's in a Mars, uh, a, 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 he's in Aries with Mars. He's in a sign worn by Mars along with Mars. And the sixth lord is Mars himself. And he's again in one house and he is aspecting the sixth house. If the lord of a house aspects a house, it is very powerful for that house. So if you look at all the three houses, uh, tenth house is strong, but sixth house is really strong. Sixth house is owned by his lord and his lord is also the dispositor of second lord. So that is why this combination in the, in the sign of Aries, this is what basically ends up showing his career. And this moon-mars combination can show somebody who's a who's a sports person uh, lagna lord lagna is gemini and lagna lord mercury is in the eighth house it shows somebody who's extremely intelligent highly analytical very logical and also hard working because eighth house is the house of hard work so overall uh, the chart does make sense but don't just go by the thumb rules of looking at the tenth house and tenth lord you have to look at uh, look at it a little more carefully. Let us jump right away into his annual chart. As I said, 2001 was a terrific year for him, 2001-2002. Especially on 2002, February 3rd, he won his first Super Bowl. So let us see the, uh, the annual Tith Pravesh chart, the Soli Luna return chart for 2001-2002. So this was on August 8, 2001. If you look at this chart, you will see that the uh, the lagna is virgo the eighth lord mars is in 12th house that is a vipret raj yoga and the 12th lord sun he is actually in the eighth house so this parivartana between the eighth and 12th lords to dusthana lords is a terrific vipret raj yoga 
and the ninth lord of fortune venus he is in the third house and he is aspecting the ninth house so it shows good fortune during the year and it shows a sudden rise vipreet rajoga shows unexpected and sudden rise and going to the top and you you can also see that saturn and ketu are also with sun but longitude wise they are not in the same house so we can ignore them but but that but, but still uh sixth lord saturn being in debility is is a very powerful feature and the sixth lord and third lord saturn and ketu being together is also powerful and one more thing you may notice the in terms of longitudes saturn mercury and ketu are in seventh house so if the sixth lord and third lord are together if they are in a dusthana that is one kind of vipreet raj yoga if they are in a kendra but with the lagna lord that is another vipreet raj yoga that is even better so saturn and ketu being with mercury in a kendra is again another vipreet raj yoga so there are multiple vipreet raj yogas in this chart and uh, we can actually quickly look at the dasha also you can see that in d10 in the dasham in the dashamsa the lagna is at 2653 virgo that is basically the last navamsa of virgo so lagna is in virgo to my few basically take the navamsa of the samsa in that lagna will be still in virgo so that is why the samsa lagna is in virgo tama so satapti ka dasha will apply and the controlling planet sun is exalted he is strong so it will dominate over the vimshotri dasha so if you look at the satapti ka dasha cast for d10 you will see that uh mars dasha was running in october november time frame october november december time frame that is the period when he was highly successful he took over after the starting quarterback got injured and after a few struggles he really started performing well so this was a key period when the vipreet raj yoga was triggered and in the saturn dasha as i said earlier saturn is really strong so in saturn antar dasha the super bowl was won actually specifically the date was i think uh february 3rd so that is saturn dasha sanantar dasha and it was february 3rd night so saturn sun and mars period so saturn sun and mars all the three planets are involved in a terrific vipreet raj yoga so this was a terrific year for him now let us look at the 20 2018 season so at at the beginning of this, this season i i predicted that he will have a okay regular season he will have struggles during the regular season but from december 27 onwards he will just rock he will have a terrific time and he will have a deep playoff run because playoffs happen in january and the super bowl is in february he will have a deep playoff run and possibly even win the super bowl that was my prediction so if you look at the reason if you look at the 2018 annual tithi pravesh chart in the dashamsha chart you will see that moon and jupiter they are together though longitude wise they are in the sixth house the the bottom line is the fifth lord and the exalted ninth lord are together and that is a terrific uh, raj yoga particularly if the lagna lord is also strong then the conjunction of fifth and ninth lords is maharaj yoga here lagna lord mars he is in a is in an ajmitra sthana so he is mars is strong so there is a maharaj yoga in this in this in this chart so moon and jupiter are extremely auspicious and you can see that the the tenth lord sun is in the ninth house that is also the lord of a quadrant being in trine or, or vice versa is also very auspicious and especially he is in a sign whose dispositor is exalted and also because moon is within the three signs next to him he is in adhimitra sthana so the tenth lord is very powerful and there is a raj yoga maharaj yoga so this is a really really good year for him and because there is a strong planet in a quadrant venus is in adhimitra sthana here because saturn is in the sign next to him venus is in adhimitra sthana in a kendra tara dasha will apply tara dasha from venus if there is a strong planet in a quadrant then tara dasha will dominate over the vimshotri dasha so if you find the tara dasha started from venus you will see that uh moon dasha mars dasha he they they started off well but in the mars dasha was fine but there were some setbacks Mars is the lagna lord in the 5th house but he has some afflictions with with, with Saturn and the 8th lord 
and rahu does have showed some struggles but they made it to the playoffs if you look at rahu rahu is in the 10th house and he's not particularly strong there in an inimical sign so but the thing is the key thing that i noticed at the beginning of the season is jupiter does have will start at, on, on the night of december 26 that's why i said from 20, december 27 onwards things will be super for him so indeed on december 28th if i remember right there was a the last game of the regular season was against jets and you saw a totally different tom brady the the tom brady you saw in the season before that was one and on the in the last game against jets you saw a totally different tom brady he just rocked on the day and that form continued into the playoffs through january and february and he even won the super bowl so that is basically because because of the jupiter jupiter mahadasa so if you let, let us see that is why i predicted the way i predicted and it actually turned out the same way let us look at the 2019 previous chart the next season if you look at this chart you will see that the second lot of resources in the 12th house even though he's exalted he's in the 12th house that's not good that basically shows not having enough resources and indeed for doing the work that he does as a quarterback he did not have great resources during the 2019 season you will see that the fourth house of sukha comfort has badakala or saturn so that's not good for feeling comfortable and also the fourth lord moon is afflicted by eighth lord ketu so uh, th th that also shows some disturbance some some problems uh, in terms of feeling comfortable but lagna lord is in the third house so he shows a lot of determination and initiative and works hard and you will also see that in the eighth house of working hard actually uh, longitude wise they are in the seventh house anyways the fifth lord and the sixth lord are together so that is actually uh, called dhimanta yoga so he will work very intelligently with the limited resources he has and he will perform well during this year uh, he 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 in, as an individual he performed well he was number 7 among all the quarterbacks in the league even though the people around him were at the bottom of the league for example in terms of getting separation i believe the receivers his receivers were number 32 in the league which is basically the bottom because there are 32 teams in the league and in his offensive line was number 31 in the league so he didn't have protection he didn't have receivers who were getting separation and yet he was number seven in the league that basically shows how the dhimanta yoga and the lagna lord in the third house function so he he had a brow brow performance and casual onlookers may have thought tom brady is falling off a cliff but people who know the game who actually understand what what is going on because it's a team sport individuals cannot really deliver goods completely so people who know said that oh he is still performing at a very high level so that is basically what you see here and in terms of the dashas in this chart i won't explain why but ashtotri dasha apply actually uh, let me explain from lagna lord mars rahu is in a kona if if rahu is in a kendra or kona from lagna lord and the controlling planet mars is strong then this applies and you can see that mars and mercury have a parivartana exchange so mars will behave as though he is in own sign so that is why the controlling planet Mars is strong. So Ashtotri Dasya will apply during this year. So if you look at the Ashtotri Dasya, you will see that in the, uh, the much of the season was during Mercury and Saturn Dasyas. So Mercury Dasya was a, was a pretty good Dasya. As I said earlier, Mercury is giving a Dhimanta Yoga. So he operated effectively during the year uh, and then Saturn Dasha was a problematic Dasha. They lost a few high profile games during this during this period, uh, late in the season, and that's because Saturn is Badka Lord in the fourth house of comfort. And Jupiter, he is the ninth lord of fortune, but he is not well placed. He is retrograde and he is ill placed in the sixth house. So he is not particularly strong. So the, during this Dasha, they basically did not really win playoffs. Bottom line is this this year does not suggest great success so uh, that is how it turned out so but but the, but the most interesting thing is the next year after this year on March 18 2020 he left the team that he was part of for 20 years at the age of 43 
and he went to a team called Buccaneers who did not even make the playoffs for the last 13 years I believe so at that time I let me show my prediction and then let me show you why I made that prediction so I wrote on Facebook uh, on March oops on March 18 2020 I I wanted to see if this 43 year old man can succeed with his new team in a new system so what I wrote I will not go through all the analysis but what I wrote is this is not a chart that shows struggles after moving to a new team in Desiree but a chart that shows growing fame and all the team that he moved to not only did not make the playoffs for 13 years but in the last year they had a losing record they lost more games than they won so that is why I said a team in Desiree so it does not show struggles after moving to a new team in Desiree but it shows growing fame and awe and also I wrote overall this year shows great success that will grow his fame and legend he may not only end the 13 year playoff drought of Buccaneers but make a deep playoff run and perhaps even win Super Bowl and the reality is now Tom Brady is actually he did make it to his team new team did make it to playoffs they actually won all the games in the playoffs so far and they are in the final game the Super Bowl on February 7 and let me explain the rationale why I made that prediction again Tithi Pravesh chart 2020 so on, on August 8 2020 his uh, his birthday happened based on the Tithis based on the lunar phase his birthday happened on that day so if you look at this chart you will see that uh, the tenth lord moon is in the fifth house and the fifth lord Rahu is in the tenth house. So there is a there is an exchange, a Parivartana Rajoga between a quad trine lord and a quadrant lord. So that is a terrific Rajoga. The only thing is moon is not moon doesn't like Rahu, moon and Rahu are enemies. Rahu is excited in excited uh, at being in moon sign, but moon is not so happy about having this exchange with Rahu and being in Rahu sign but at least the fifth lord and tenth is a it can show success and the other thing you can see is Mercury and Venus they are the ninth lord and the Lagna lord so ninth lord Mercury Lagna lord Venus they are together and in Samasaptaka from tenth lord moon and if you look at the longitudes in D10 Mercury is at 14 degree Venus is at 17 degree so they are pretty close and moon is a little far from them but he is within eight degrees from Venus so there is a there is a powerful Rajoga between Lagna Lord and Ninth Lord and Tenth Lord is also aspecting them reasonably closely so this is there is another Rajoga here apart from this Parivartana so and the other thing the second house of resources contains his Lord Mars so it shows if you remember last year he did not have any resources so he, he ends up going to a team that has a lot of resources around him he does have terrific receivers and terrific offensive line so the resources that he uses including the play caller the offensive play caller he basically has good resources at the team and that's what this shows there is some problem here Saturn and Sun uh, the Bhargava Lord Saturn, uh, Sun is in the eighth house with Saturn with enemy Saturn so that's not really auspicious it shows a lot of anxiety a lot of worries a lot of hard work during the year but it could also show Saturn can show disease and sun I didn't know it on March 18 but now I'm retroactively looking at this so sun shows authorities and Saturn shows disease so it can show some regulations from the authorities because of the COVID-19 that caused a lot of problems indeed because of the COVID-19 regulations he lost much of the off-season and he was working with new guys so they had to come on the same page and develop chemistry so that did not happen so they were basically still fine-tuning things well into the season almost till the end of the regular season they were fine-tuning things and they were coming on the same page so not having off-season and having all these restrictions probably is what Saturn's and combination shows but the bottom line is you can see this chart all these Rajogas and you can see that this is actually very similar to the 2018 actually probably even stronger than the 2018 annual TP chart so without a doubt this is a year when there will be great success and this is not a year when he falls off a cliff and struggles with the new team and he disappears this is a year when his legend grows and his legend is reinforced and it is very clear from the chart and that is why I boldly predicted that and it has turned out to be true 
now let us look at the uh, dashas and in this particular year's chart uh, in this particular year there are no conditional dashas that will dominate but you can see that rahu is rahu in the 10th house will behave as though he is in own sign because of the parivartana with moon so you can actually use when there is a strong planet in a quadrant you can use the tara dasha so let us see the tara variation of vimshotri dasha and we will use rahu to start it so tara dasha from rahu so if you do this you will see that uh, venus dasha is venus is giving raj yoga so venus dasha there were a couple of losses but overall which are understood because they were starting without any practice any off season with a new quarterback in a new system with receivers he had no experience with but still they had a, uh, i think during this period they they went to 72 or something 72 or 62 record which is basically pretty good so uh, and also in october he was he was adjudged as the best offensive player in the conference so this was a good this was a good dasha for him and that's because venus is lagna lord in the 11th house aspecting the 5th house of fame and having all those raj yogas that we mentioned earlier so this is a good dasha and in sun dasha there were some setbacks during this period because sun is the badka lord in the 8th house and in moon dasha it was a mixed dasha there, there were some high profile losses in close games so they were performing well but basically they weren't able to close the games so this was a period of high profile losses and the last loss came on november 29 and as we mentioned earlier even though he's taking part in a rajyoga moon is afflicted by mandi and he is not really happy at this exchange and he is in a saturnine sign aspected by saturn so moon dasha was a mixed dasha but mars dasha they just rocked during this dasha once they came back from the bye <coughs> so december was a terrific uh, month for them and that's because mars is the second lord in the second house so he was he had perfect chemistry with all his receivers so all that was showcased during this period so this was a terrific period for him and now uh, towards the end of the regular season and into the super bowl rahu the size is running and as i mentioned earlier rahu is a very important planet rahu is giving this raj yoga fifth lord in the 10th house so this is a very good dasha let me illustrate a illustrate another principle apart from using the annual charts you can use the daily charts that is how i i predicted for example there was a there was a game recently the championship game for the conference win with the with the conference number 1 seed green bay packers i predicted that brady will survive a very tough match so let me show the concept of daily the previous charts so before we do that to get the right chart let me change the time zone basically because he is now playing in 5 hour time zone and i'll be checking the game time using that time zone so i i, I will change the time zone so that it doesn't change any calculations it just when you give a particular time and say find the tithi pravesh chart daily chart before the time it basically uses the time for the right with the right time zone that's all basically to define the time accurately for the game so let us take a few games let me uh, let me look at the season so after they came back from by in december there were a few really important games on december 20 there was a game December 20 uh, i believe it was a 1 o'clock game yeah december 20 1 o'clock game so by the time the result is almost finalized is probably 4 o'clock uh, eastern time zone so 2020 sorry not december 8 december 20 so december 20 4 pm so find the daily chart before december 20 2020 4 pm and that was on the evening of december 19 previous day evening let us see when the when this day ends and new day starts it is december 27 15 so game was definitely done before that so the chart that was active during the game was this this game this chart december 19 chart so if you look at this chart you will see that the lagna lord is not well placed is in the 12th house of loss and disappointment but the yogarka mars and the fifth lord he is in the 5th house so that is extremely powerful so this shows great fame and you can also see that the 10th house 
the tenth house is occupied by ninth lord Jupiter and the seventh lord Saturn. So there is a Rajoga between Saturn and Jupiter, and you can you can see if they are close if the Rajoga is close. So in D10, Jupiter is at 19 degree Aries, Saturn is at 17 degree Aries. So that is within two degrees. So this is a this is a very powerful Rajoga between seventh and ninth lords in the tenth house of accomplishments, and its lord and the lord of fame is in one sign. So this shows great fame during the day. And also if you look at the Hora lord because he sh he controls the day, that is Saturn. So the planet who is taking part in the yoga. So this is a terrific day. But because Lagna Lord is in the 12th house, they had some setbacks. They trailed by 17 points in the first half. But in the second half, they just had a hell of a game. And then there was another game, a signature win. Basically, Brady took the team to such a great lead in the first half itself that he was rested in the second half. He didn't even have to play. The, the backup quarterback finished the game in the second half. So this was on December 26th. Again, it is a one o'clock game, so it should be done by 4 p.m. This is the day after Christmas, so it's December 26, uh, seven o'clock. So it start the day started in in the morning, so it will be till the morning next day. So if you look at this chart, you will see that Lagna Lord Ven Moon is with Venus in the fourth house, and the fourth Lord Venus is in Molatricona. So fourth is extremely strong, so it shows great sense of comfort. You basically feel like you know what you're doing and you're so happy, so elated and that's what a strong fourth house will show. And you will see that the 10th Lord Mars is in 10th house in Molatrikona. Sun is exalted in the 10th house. Again, the Jupiter-Saturn combination is there. So the 9th Lord, 10th Lord, 7th Lord, they're all together and there is exalted sun. And taking the 10th house of <coughs> work as Lagna, Lagna Lord, 5th Lord, 9th Lord and 10th Lord, they are all together in this ho house. So this is this is like an amazing Raj Yoga in the 10th house. So this was a, this was such a terrific game, the game against Lions at Detroit. This was one of the unbelievable games. Of course, Detroit Lions were really... Uh, they had some setbacks, they didn't have their coaching staff because of COVID and all that. They had some injuries, but still, this was such a signature win. And let's, let's, for completion, let's look at the next game, that was on January 3rd. This is 2021 now. And this game was also at 1 o'clock, so let us see. Uh, January 3rd at 11.30, the day started. So if you look at this, uh, if you look at this game, uh, you will see that the Lagna Lord is in the 8th house, but the main thing is the yeah the 5th Lord is exalted. Longitude wise he is in the 6th house, but still 5th Lord in 6th is Dhimanta Yoga. But basically an exalted 5th Lord is uh, very auspicious and there is a Raj Yoga between this Venus and Mars in terms of longitude they are they are in some Saptaka, so there is a Rajoga between them. And also, by the way, 10th Lord Rahu, there are two Lords. One 10th Lord Rahu is in the 10th house. So 10th Lord Rahu being in the 10th house and 9th Lord Saturn aspecting the 9th house. So 9th is strong, 10th is very strong and 5th Lord is exalted. So 5th Lord is also very strong. So this was another great win for them. But when it came to came to the playoffs, I was a little concerned for the for a few games. Let me show the playoff games. So the first playoff game was on January 9th. It was it was night eight or something. So by the time the game was over, it was probably 20, 11 p.m. So if you see January 9th game, this is at Washington against the Washington football team. So if you look at this chart, you will see that. Let's look at the longitude. You will see all these planets in the eighth house. Let us look at the uh, longitudes. So you will see that Jupiter is at one degree Pisces and Sun is at zero degree Virgo. So there is a Lagna Lord Sun and fifth Lord Jupiter have a Samsaptaka, extremely close Samsaptaka. And even though Mercury and Saturn are also there, longitude wise they are actually in the next house. You can see in the Bhav Chakra here. So Jupiter is basically alone, but actually Venus. Venus is at 28 degree Aquarius. So he is within 3 degrees from Jupiter. So the 10th Lord Venus 
fifth lord jupiter and lagna lord sun there is a rajoga between these three planets but it's on the eighth house axis so it shows great performance but basically the eighth house axis shows a lot of hard work a lot of stressful situation so this game was too close for comfort but brady has a had a terrific game this this game was this uh, this game was very good for brady but the next two games brady did okay but they really won on account of the defense so let us look at those games on january 17 the game against uh, against saints at new orleans they played at 6:40 so by the time the game is over is probably 20 10 o'clock or so or 9:30 in any case the the day started at noon so basically is good irrespective of the starting time is good so in this chart you will see that you may it may seem like lagna lord uh, lagna contains the fifth lord which may be good but the thing is actually that venus in terms of longitude he is in the 12th house so the, he the fifth lord is not really uh, that powerful and also in terms of longitudes if you look at the longitude venus is at 3 degree gemini and okay they are far apart ignore it nothing nothing so so lagna lord uh, lagna lord Ven uh, fifth lord venus he is in 12th house and he is not really in a friendly sign even though mercury is a friend temporarily he is he is an enemy because he is so away from him so compound relationship wise he is a neutral so fifth lord in a neutral sign in the 12th house is not particularly strong right because from the fifth house the fifth lord is in the eighth house so that's not really that strong and you can see that but the good thing is there is there is a raj yoga between saturn and jupiter there is a parivartana exchange between the ninth lord and tenth lord but the thing is the tenth lord jupiter is afflicted by rahu so there is a close conjunction if you look at the longitudes longitude wise they are within 5 6 degrees so there is a there is a gurjandal yoga so the tenth lord is afflicted but still rahu is the ninth lord so basically it's a rajyoga it's a rajyoga and as well as it's an affliction so overall you, you can see that and, and and the other thing is the third house contains ketu mars and ketu but longitude wise it is ketu so sixth lord ketu is in the third house so that's a vipreet rajyoga so it shows a brave performance and it shows accomplishment but the but the weakness of the fifth lord shows he does not get credit for it so it was a good day he did pretty well but basically all the credit went to the defense and it was it was justified and the game this game i was actually confident that they will win because of the pariva the parivartana between ninth and tenth lords but the next game i was so sure but overall my assessment was as i wrote on facebook my assessment was he will survive a re a very tough game survive a very tough game that was my assessment let us see why so this was on january 24 and i believe the game was at 3:30 or so so by by 6:45 the game was over so anyway the early in the morning on january 24 the day started so you can see this is the this is the tit pravesh chart you can see that the fifth lord of recognition fame jupiter he is debilitated in the 6th house it is dhimanta yoga fifth lord in the 6th house is dhimanta yoga but debility of the fifth lord is not really auspicious and you will see that the yokarka mars is in he is in the he is in the second house but actually longitude wise he is in the first house so if you look at the longitudes let us see if you look at the longitudes Mars is at 4 degree Virgo and Venus is at 25 degree Leo. So they are within 9 degrees or so. There is a decently close rajyoga between uh, Venus and Mars, the tenth lord and the ninth lord. So that is good. There is a good rajyoga, but they are not really friends. So this is a mixed rajyoga. The the other thing is you can see that uh, in terms of longitude, Sun is at 5 degree Pisces and Mars is at 4 degree Virgo. So this Sun and Mars are in samasaptaka. so sun and mars the lagna lord sun and the yokarka mars there is a rajyoga so this rajyoga gave me confidence that he will this will be a fortunate day for him rajyoga between the fourth lord of comfort ninth lord of fortune and lagna lord gave me confidence that his fortune will be good that day he will feel fortunate at the end of the day he will feel lucky so i was i was overall my assessment was the, that he would survive but the thing is the the fact that uh 
you, you can you can see that the seventh lord saturn is in the eighth house seventh lord saturn is in the eighth house longitude wise also he is in the eighth house that's a marga combination that's not a good combination seventh lord in the eighth shows death like suffering during the during the day in this area of life and the debility of the fifth lord it doesn't basically it's not a it's not an auspicious thing and also jupiter is the hora lord he is the ruler of the day so he is the fifth lord in debility but giving the himata yoga so overall my assessment was balancing the positives and negatives i thought it was a it would be a really tough game but he will survive that tough game in the end he threw three interceptions that day he he threw some 280 yards or so he threw three touchdowns but he also threw three interceptions he came so close to losing the game but they were able to defense and offense together they were able to close the deal so he again he won the game but he did not get lot of credit for that win the defense got the credit and now let us look at the next game the final game the super bowl that is on february 7th uh, it will start in the evening 6 uh, something 6:40 6:50 something but by the time it's over it's probably 11 o'clock so in any case it starts the new day starts at 9 o'clock the new lunar phase day so that will be valid that will be valid till next day morning so the game will be completed during this day so if you look at this chart you can see that the okay okay you can see that the the 10th house is very strong the 10th lord rahu is in the 10th house and also lagna lord venus is in the 10th house and if you yeah saturn is also there but longitude wise he's actually he's in the he's in the, he's in the next house but the thing is uh saturn is yokarka 9th and 10th lord so he's being in the 11th house and aspecting the 5th house of fame is very good and the 5th lord mercury even though he's in he's retrograde 5th lord mercury is in own sign in in his own sign so that is really strong so the 5th house is very strong showing fame and recognition and the and the lagna lord and 10th lord being together is a rajyoga between venus and rahu so there is a powerful rajyoga so all these the, these combinations are enough to suggest that this will be a successful day that the problem is ketu is ill placed in the fourth house of comfort and the fourth lord sun is debilitated so the show is basically being thrown out of your comfort zone struggling it can show some struggles but the thing is the, the if you look at the eighth house of struggles eighth lord jupiter he is actually in the ninth house eighth lord jupiter is strong he is in mala trikona but in terms of longitude he is in the ninth house so 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 again the 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 eighth lord basically being in uh, ninth house is also not good so overall it shows some struggles during the day but in the end the strength of the tenth house of accomplishment and fifth house of fame clearly shows that this will be a good day so in the super bowl his team is facing this 43 year old man is facing somebody who was in kindergarten when he played his he won his first super bowl and the opponent patrick mahomes he is a sensational extremely gifted quarterback quarterback he they are the defending champions by the way the team that they are playing are the defending champions and he they are considered hard favorites to win the game but just astrologically i do expect that brady will win the game not only win the game in the last two games i thought he will survive really tough games against saints and packers but this game they can they will probably win comfortably just looking at his own chart we don't have the chart of patrick mahomes or any other player so making a prediction on a game a team sport just based on one person's chart is not really that wise but this is a key person in the team so that's why i'm taking that risk so just based on this even though it is extremely counterintuitive and does not make any logical sense it seems like brady's team will have a very comfortable win they will have they will they will have a very convincing and comfortable win and even though there are some negative factors here the strength of 10th and 5th cannot with that you can't even rule out a strong win like a blowout win or win by double digits instead of a close one one point or three point game it can even be a double digit uh, win but again it's, not, it's 
not intuitive it doesn't make sense practically objectively but that is what his chart shows but overall even though he is the underdog in the final game the super bowl i do expect that on february 7th tom brady will win the super bowl he will win his seventh super bowl so i try to illustrate some principles using which you can adjust the samsa natal annual as well as daily charts and try to try to make some daily and annual predictions so hopefully you can apply this the only thing you have to remember is you need to have accurate time if you don't have the accurate time for example let's see here how soon will the time change so if the time is off by 1 minute 14 seconds this lagna will change it will no longer be taurus but it will be aries so you have to keep that in mind so first make sure based on the known events make sure that the time is adding adding up it is making sense otherwise adjust it a little bit and make sure that the time is correct and once time is accurate you can basically rely on this okay thank you very much and good luck to tom brady good luck to buccaneers in the super bowl om shanti shanti shanti